Hey, what's up, guys? I've got another unboxing here for you. This is from, obviously, you can see Shout Factory or Scream Factory. Um, this is uh, the Green Inferno, uh, which was um, announced back in January, I think, of this year. So about six fucking months ago. <laughs> um, which I guess is not typical, but what happened was this was supposed to be released in April, and then it got pushed back a few months because of reasons. I actually don't remember why. Do they ever say why? Doesn't really matter, I guess. But, uh, so it was supposed to come out, like, mid-April, and now it's early June. Uh, it's June, well, it's mid-June, actually. Today is Saturday, uh, June 15th, and I got it today. And I actually forgot that I got this version, the signed edition, which I think is a signed, um, I forget, a CD or something? came with a CD and a signed, I don't remember, I guess I'll find out in a second, but I already, I just took a knife out and I'm open this like this. I haven't opened it yet, besides to get the, to open it up with my knife. This one actually looks kind of different. Last, I haven't ordered from Shot Factory in, since December, I think. Like Starman or something. It's been a while, so. Maybe they've upgraded their, um, what they do for packing, but this is kind of, I feel like this is new for me anyway. Usually it's that plain brown packing, packing stuff, but this is actually Shop Factory branded, which is kind of cool, I guess. I'll keep that. And, oh, what's this? Oh, I like that a lot. Look at that. So that's my poster. So I, I guess, actually, well, I should probably still It's actually a little bit thinner tube than I usual, I think, too, but I really, really like this. Because I was ghetto writing on there with a marker um, all the other ones. Actually, let me grab you one. Hold on. Actually, I guess it's about the same size, but, uh, you know. I was writing with, look, look, I have uh, sleepwalkers. I would just write with a fucking Sharpie. And uh, and also, it would just used to have the closed ends like this. They've been doing that for a little bit now, ever since that bad six-month stretch where they were uh, having terrible times in uh, factories and stuff or whatever with, uh, with the crumpling of posters, but um, they have these ends now. Which is cool. But this is pretty fucking cool. I like that they actually show you which posters in this so I don't have to write there like an idiot. So anyway, I'm going to put that away for a second. I like that a lot. That's cool. And... Oh. Is this a slip cover? Here's the actual release. And that's everything there. Okay, interesting. Uh, I thought it was a... I thought it was something else. I don't know what the hell I thought it was. A slip cover makes more sense. For some reason I was thinking it was like a CD jacket or something. Is there a CD in here? There's not a CD in here, this is just a bag. Uh, well, that's his signature there on this um, slip cover. Um, I actually thought it was like signed, it was like a signed version. Which I guess technically it is, but it's a separate. Um, let's see. Two disc set includes the exclusive original CD soundtrack. So that's actually packaged in here. Now, was that exclusive? Like specific? I don't remember. I want to open it up and take a look. Well, this is the artwork. I thought this artwork was very cool. I think it's, is it Osborne? Or Devin? Yeah, Devin something. I forget his name. There's a couple, there's like three or four different people that uh, Scream Factory and like Aero Video and places like that utilize a lot. They've got good artwork, but I, I like I like this guy a lot. He's been doing a lot recently. I forget his name. Or maybe I'll, it's Devin something. Yeah, that's his name, Devin. Or Devon. I think it's Devin. Sorry. Yeah, that's the artwork. Very cool. Very gruesome. So it's about um, these like filmmakers or something like that to get that, that, that crash land in a deserted area, like you know, a tribal area, and they get eaten by cannibals, or some of them get eaten. Or I haven't watched it in a couple of years. Okay. Very cool though. Remember this guy being a jackass. That's right, and it's sealed too, so double sealed, I like that. It's a different, it feels like a regular CD key. I feel like they, they, they transfer back and forth between having like regular Blu-ray cases and like some of the flimsier ones, it's kind of weird. Maybe just, um, I don't know. So that's the regular unsigned version. Actually, maybe I should take this out. Well, should I take it out? 
don't know what to do with this now. I'll be honest, I'm probably just going to put this on eBay if people want to buy it for a couple dollars. Because I don't... I, I, for whatever reason, I was thinking this was going to be something else. Like, it was going to be... A, it was, like, going to be the signed actual version, and I would just keep it. But I don't know what to do with this now. I don't know. Hmm. E-R, I guess. E-L... E I don't know what that says. E L like Eli Roth. Eli Roth screenplay. So he directed this. Did he wrote it too? A screenplay by yeah, by Guillermo Amodo. Amiato. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm babbling a little bit too much with this shit. Um, like I said, this was announced in like January or so of this of this year, and then be released in April, but then for whatever reason it was delayed. There's the Blu-ray. And there's the soundtrack. And here's the track listing. Just kind of cool. I honestly don't remember if I like the soundtrack, so this would be kind of cool to revisit. And I'm sure behind it has the original, yeah, the original um, poster artwork. Which is also kind of, you know. Of course, I'm, I, I spent, you know, $28 or whatever on a movie I don't even like for a soundtrack I don't even know and for a character, for an ad director I don't even enjoy. So, this is what I do with my money. I buy things I don't even want. <clears throat> but like I said, it's been a couple years since I watched it, so I should probably give it another shot. I don't, I remember not loving it, but um, maybe I was in a mood. How about I read the back here? Uh, it's a two-disc set. Includes the exclusive original CD soundtrack by Manuel Manuel Rivera Rivera Rivero, excuse me, Manuel Rivero, with bonus tracks. Oh, I got you a couple bonus tracks at the bottom there. The big green. Uh, Manuel Rivera and Silver's International Pictures. Cool. Um, new interview with co-writer, producer, director, E.I. Roth. New interviews with the cast members. And then I suppose the rest is probably what was on the Blu-ray before. Audio commentaries, behind-the-scenes footage, making a featurette, theatrical trailer, TV spots, and still galleries. Cool. Oh, this is a Blumhouse release, too. I forgot. Was this 2000... Oh, thir it was 13, really? Was it really that long ago? I feel like it was way loop sooner than that. Damn. Really? Is this 2013? I was going to say 2016. Then why the hell would it be a release for Screen Factory? I don't know. Sorry, I'm just I'm mixing myself up here. So, And there's the synopsis there. Stephen King says, A glorious throwback to the drive-in movies of my youth. Bloody, gripping, but you can't look away. I guess. Mastermind behind the Hostel franchise and Cabin Fever... Horror auteur Eli Roth serves up a feast of gut-wrenching terror in the gruesome fear fest, The Green Inferno. Determined to protect the Amazon rainforest, a group of students act student activists fly to Peru only to crash land deep in the jungle. Captured by a pack of bloodthirsty cannibals, the survivors suffer unspeakable acts of butchery at the hands of the very tribe they were trying to save. A non-stop barrage of carnage and chills, The Green Inferno is an unhinged blast. Rated R, of course, because of all the gruesomeness. Universal and Blumhouse. Region A. I think these are all Region A, aren't they, Screen Factory? I think so. Green Inferno. Fear will consume you. Get it? Alright. Um. I don't know what the hell I was even imagining this to be. This makes a lot more sense, having a separate signed um, um, slipcover. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know. Just keep it there. After all, we know we'll put up the poster. I'm curious. I haven't bought a poster since... I think it's been since Starman. I don't remember. Ooh, I like this too. It's not like, you know, you don't have to like squeeze your fingers in there to get it out. It's actually got a band on here. So I'm going to try to keep... Can I keep this? Yeah. I like that a lot too. See, they're up in their game. I like it. Yeah, it looks like it's not, uh, hurt. Like, so there's no scuffs or anything at all. No rips or tears. I'm on the top here, you know. Actually, let's look at for a second. Very nice colors, too. 
Very colorful. Look at that fucking guy. Nice. I do, I say the colors really pop on this, and I like the... Uh, even though I don't like the characters and some of the stuff, the, the scene right there is showing that when the guy being chopped up and stuff is pretty fucking crazy. And then that reminds me of Cannibal Holocaust a little bit. These characters in the back. Interesting. So yeah, very cool. And I love this, what they're doing with their posters now. After that abysmal year. When things were not going so well. I wish they would send out better posters. People got fucked over, but I, I think I had a Creepshow poster and a Trick or Treat poster and something else that got budged up. I don't remember now. I was lucky though. I, I didn't have as bad a damage as some people did. Some people had like boot marks on their posters and shit. Which is just fucking crazy. Sorry, I'm just put, putting this back on here. So I love that. Look at that. That's awesome. So much better. Bravo Screen Factory. Shop Factory. And I love this little decal in the front. So you know exactly what it is. And it's much better than having my stupid scrawled chicken scratch. So cool. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I know this has been fun. Again. I'm like, you know talking about nothing here but um i am looking forward to checking this out again like i said it's been a couple years apparently since i watched this i thought it was like a couple years ago but i guess not green inferno yeah, look at that. i really do like the colors on that it's fantastic actually that was the main thing when i first posted or talked about it like the, the, this cover art is fantastic but the movie's kind of meh but uh, you know i guess we'll see i'm curious like i said it's been a while so anyway i'm babbling on Constantly, so thank you for watching. Here's the signed version. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. And I've got a couple more things coming up. I got Steelbooks galore, of course, and there's more Screen Factory shit coming. Some stuff I'm actually looking forward to for sure. Silent Hill's coming out next month, and uh, something else I forget. But more cool stuff. There's actually a lot of shit from Screen Factory coming out in August, so maybe I'll do several videos in that and around then. I think. Either way, it's going to be a fun Scream Shout Factory summer with steelbooks and stuff too. But uh, Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon, and bye. <laughs>